Welcome to Baseball News Club. My name is Chris, and today we're excited to bring you all-time greats. We're going to highlight Ricky Henderson. Now, Ricky was one of the most exciting and fun players to watch, and for fans that are old to the game or new to the game, Ricky encompasses the true spirit of the game. In an age where fans, players alike, are looking to bring more fun and joy to the game, we have to look at Ricky Henderson and his Hall of Fame legend and how he changed the sport in many ways. He was the OG of flair, swag, he had style, he would fit right into today's game. Now we could highlight all his stats and accomplishments, World Series, MVPs, all-time leader and stolen bases and runs. He was an extremely accomplished player. But what we want to highlight is he was the king of swag. He was doing bat flips before they were even popular and he doesn't do bat flips where it almost kills an umpire player. He did it with style, popping his shirt running around the bases with a little attitude, catching the ball a certain way. Now, it might have rubbed some players or teams the wrong way, but if you hit them, he's just going to get on base and steal and then score. So what Ricky did is he brought a lot of flair to the game. He was originally from Chicago, raised in Oakland, so he's raised in tough places where keeping your chin up was a daily attitude. But Ricky never intentionally showed up a team. You know, and some players in this day and age still have a hard time grasping with how to celebrate. There's a fine line between showing up a team and having fun. Ricky is the perfect example of playing hard and having individual personality. Now, one argument that I'm tired of hearing is the traditionalist versus modern baseball. Listen, baseball will never be like the NFL where players are consistently striving for attention. Baseball is a true team sport. Now, while individualism has become a hallmark of modern players, if you don't play as a unit, then why play the game? And Ricky really shows modern players how you can do both. Now, for me, baseball has been changing a lot the last 15 or 20 years. A lot more celebrations, home run celebrations, dugout celebrations, a little bit of personality on the base pass looking over at the dugout of your team. That's what baseball's about. Having fun, popping that collar, having a little attitude at the plate, enjoying yourself. Now in life, sometimes you have to look at the past to understand the future. And if you study Ricky Henderson and his career, you'll see one thing. A player who was a full-on team player, played his heart out on the field, and also had an amazing personality. And you see it in the last 15 or 20 years in baseball. You see teams having a lot more fun in the dugout, doing different types of celebrations. And it's absolutely, positively great for the game, and I love watching it. And Ricky is one person that we have to thank. Now, if I could give a takeaway for Ricky Henderson, is his on-base percentage career, 401. Ricky didn't care if he got on by an error, a walk, hit by pitch. He just wanted to get on to the bases so he can help his team win. That is Ricky. And then look at how Little League and softball is played nowadays. Kids love the game. They celebrate in the dugout. They have cheers. That's what the game's about. And you have to ask yourself, when was the last time you saw a softball or Little League game? Why should the fun be eliminated once you become a professional player? Doesn't make sense. So I'm very happy to see players like Andrew McCutcheon, the Washington Nationals, how they celebrate in the dugout during the playoffs. And then other players have been around for the last six or seven years, like Bryce Harper. The game is designed to have fun, and the fans and players absolutely love it. After all, who wants to play a sport that's just serious and not fun? Name a game or a board game for that matter, not designed for enjoyment. So go be like Ricky. Go find a Ricky in you. Go have fun. Be yourself. Be like Ricky. Design a walk-up song. Go find ways to enjoy the game. But you got to remember, you still have to play. You still have to play with all your heart. You have to help out your team. And it's always been that way. If you look at the past in sports, there's always been players that hustle more than others and bring enjoyment and flair to the game. So again, be like Ricky, because we know that Ricky Henderson liked to be like Ricky also. Thank you for watching Baseball News Club. Have a great day.